All right, sports fans. So you've got your audio coming in processed. You've got it encoded into one or more different stream types. Now you need to distribute it to the rest of the world. How do you get the word out there? Well, this chapter will tell you all about that. Chapter 10, Content Distribution Networks. So that audio is ready to go. Streams are ready. And, you know, you probably going to want to feed more than just a few people. Hey, if you want to feed audio to audio streams to maybe 10 or 15 or 20 people, you could do that yourself at your own radio station. But if you want to feed 100 or 100,000 or a million, you're going to need a content distribution network. Small audio or media distribution projects can be done in-house or perhaps with some assistance from a data center. Some of the smallest radio stations and other webcasters simply use a computer running Shoutcast or Icecast to serve audio streams out to a few dozen listeners. The next step is to send one stream to a media server, again Shoutcast, Icecast, or similar, that is at a high bandwidth location, such as a commercial data center. Quite a few choices are available to rent Shoutcast and other similar server bandwidth. A newer possibility is to rent an Amazon Web Services server to distribute audio using Apple HLS. Apple HLS, like Microsoft Smooth Streaming and MPEG Dash, is an adaptive bitrate technology that will likely, over time, become the predominant method for audio streaming. While this can be a do-it-yourself project, most webcasters will secure the services of a content distribution network, or CDN. A content delivery or distribution network is a distributed network of servers deployed in multiple data centers. The goal of a CDN is to serve content to end users with high availability and high performance. CDNs serve a large fraction of the Internet content today, including web objects like text, graphics, and scripts, downloadable objects like media files, software, documents, applications like e-commerce and portals, and live streaming media, on-demand streaming media, and social networks. Now, CDNs typically have their equipment housed in data centers. These facilities are usually designed with backup power, backup air conditioning, with several redundant high-capacity connections to the public Internet and to other data centers. Many CDNs rent rack space, servers, or virtual servers in data centers. So servers, server rooms, and the streaming software running in them is often just a part of the services provided by a CDN. Each CDN tends to offer their own suite of services geared to persuade the web broadcaster that theirs is the best CDN choice. <laughs> Why not? For example, Triton Digital offers what they call Webcast Metrics, about which they say Webcast Metrics is the industry standard for digital audio listening data. It provides credible third-party data that's translated into tr traditional and digital metrics, making it possible for audio publishers to quantify the size and scale of their audience. Triton goes on to say, accredited by the Media Ratings Council, and audited annually by Ernst & Young, Webcast Metrics is the trusted source for online audience listening data. Well, all that could be important to you. Now, the guy with the small data center in Hoboken, New Jersey, can't offer such services as Triton does. However, the guy in Hob Hoboken uh, will stream your radio station to, say, 200 listeners around the clock for about 10 bucks a month. No questions asked. According to Triton Digital's website, it's the CDN responsible for distributing streaming media for Pandora, iHeartMedia, Spotify, CBS Radio, NPR, Town Square, and many more. Another service provider to be aware of is Wowza Media Systems. Wowza's chief offering is the Wowza Streaming Engine. This server ingests one high-quality stream from your facility and then transcodes it to different bit rates for you, and even different audio codecs and streaming types, if you like. Wowza is designed for both video and audio-only streaming and is claimed to support all playback device formats and common third-party players. And more recently, Wowza is offering complete CDN services as well, complementing their multi-format streaming engine server. Just want you to be aware of what's available out there in the streaming world as far as CDN so you kind of have a feel for who you're talking to and what they're going to want from you and what they can provide to you as well.